From Tampa Bay Screaming News Source, brought to you by AlertTodayFlorida.com, this is ABC Action News. Hello, I'm Jamison Euler. Dennis has Florida's most accurate forecast in just a moment, but first, here are your ABC Action News Now headlines. A former teacher convicted of having sex with students is back in jail right now. Stephanie Ragusa is accused of violating her parole. According to documents, she met up with a 12-year-old girl late last month. Documents did not indicate any sexual contact. The former Davidson Middle School math teacher served six years after pleading guilty to having sex with two teenage boys. And Tampa police are looking for the teen in this surveillance video. They say he's been behind at least nine burglaries just this month in the West Tampa area. Investigators say he's entering homes through unlocked windows and garage doors and then stealing cash and credit cards. Hillsborough County investigators are looking for an arsonist. They say someone set fire to three homes under construction in a Fishhawk neighborhood. If you know anything about this case, you're being asked to call Crime Stoppers. Your tip could be worth a cash reward. In other news, you have until midnight to weigh in on the fight to save Tampa's remaining cigar factory. Proposed FDA regulations on premium cigars could put J.C. Newman out of business. That would leave 135 factory workers unemployed. If you would like to provide feedback, we have the link to do so on our website. And now here's Chief Meteorologist Dennis Phillips with a look at your forecast. Dennis. Yeah, Jameson, looking pretty good across the area. The evening will be rather quiet. A few isolated showers, not too many. But as was the case on Wednesday morning, we're going to see more rain stacking up along the coast Thursday morning. Now, some areas it'll be a little heavier than others. It's always a good idea to check us out first thing on Thursday morning to see where the rain stacks up. But bottom line, whatever's out there in the morning moves inland in the afternoon. The same setup again on Friday. All right, thank you, Dennis. You can now get news updates all day long on your favorite streaming device. And don't forget, you can always download the free ABC Action News app. Visibility while driving at night can be challenging for drivers, and their failure to see pedestrians is often fatal. In Florida, 75% of pedestrian fatalities occur at night. Many drivers say they never saw the pedestrian. What will it take to see them? Can you see him now? Drivers, look for pedestrians, especially at night. Pedestrians, make sure you are visible. Alert tonight, alive tomorrow. Because safety doesn't happen by accident.